Live from Dodger Stadium, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Runners at first and second with one gone. In the dirt. Throw, save! And both runners move up on the wild pitch. You want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the pitch. That one out to right. Betts puts it away. Runner tags for home. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Well, it's a nice job right there. It's always great when you can get on the scoreboard first. Just good situational hitting to bring him home from third right there. And now the first baseman, Frank Schwindel. And a count one and two. Kicks and fires. Out towards right center field. Bellinger on the move. Snags it on the run. And that is that. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Cubs one and the Dodgers nothing. That has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. Brewstar Grotterol into the game, and he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 48, Brewstar In there, and it's 0-1. And because of that big power. The 1-1. One -one. That one ran inside, almost got him. Right-handed reliever. Now a pop-up on the infield. Grotterol in position. And that will end the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. But they lead it one to nothing. Off the play. Two and one. That pitch is downstairs. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The 3-1. And ball four to a board. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake the team up with the free pass. First and second. No outs. The batter now will be Will Smith. 
The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Oh, now this one gets way at the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. The pitch. Got him looking. One away. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning. And that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something. Pick up his teammate. And now the 0-1. Ground ball right side could be two. Quick feed to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Cubs one and the Dodgers nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eight. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the lead off man or even a base runner on. And a pitch. Now a rip into left center. That one is gone. Chris Taylor blasts one out. And we're starting over. It's 1-1. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Mookie Betts flashed one out. Home run number 15 on the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2-1. Next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Freeman at second with two down. And he grounds one to the right side. Schwindel takes it to the bag. That ends the inning. Mookie Betts with a big strike in the inning. Last chance coming up for the Cubbies. Hit hard on the ground is short. Oh, look at the stop. Throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. And up next for Chicago, Rafael Ortega. He's two outs away. Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. And he'll work on holding this lead. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. 
The one two. And the one two misses to even the count. Just a slow ground ball this time. Fires over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder. Ian Hatt for the fourth time tonight. The eye spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Next offering is foul back. Hat leads off first with two down to the inning. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Tosses to first. Out number three. So a ninth inning comeback here, and this game has been flipped on its head. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. We are tied. Two, two. And the 2 Good eye in that spot. That's a really good take. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now batting. Chance good to strike out the side now. You talk Young about man. the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. Justin Turner. In the air out to center, Morell sizes this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And the inning is over. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. We are tied 2-2. Two -two. The big double play get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in the spot where they really needed one. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. A squeeze back to the mound. Gets now back to first, no problem, as a run scores. Morrell. The 0 2. Base hit. One run is in. In there safely. The white field, number Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Off the bat, that one registered at 100 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Next offering is in for a strike. Contreras over at second. Ortega on at first with two down. And one and two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Last chance to even things up. We head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Cubs five and the Dodgers two. Hey. Two one pitches in there, the count is even. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Okay. And now it's filled up.
And the right-hander deals. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. So now one and two. The tying run at the plate. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras in 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down, keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit, and you can steal a win and get out of here happy. And your final score, 5-2. So the Cubs celebrate at the plate. Chris Singleton and our entire gun.